Hi guys, my name is Ellie and today I'm going to be doing a quick review tutorial thing on this new product from Schwarzkopf Live. This is their pastel spray in icy blue. Um, it's a pastel tone for your blonde hair so you don't need to be blonde for this or lighten your hair to get the results. Um, it's easy to use, instant pastel results, no hair damage, lasts up to three washes. Um, I have used their other products and I really love them. One of my favourite toners is their, um, I don't even know what it's called, it's like just their silver toner because you can leave it in your hair for like hours and it doesn't turn it purple, <laughs> so it's amazing. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. Matt actually got this for me, he was at the warehouse and saw it and thought because I'm on holiday it would be a good time to trial different hair colours and things because then I've got enough time to wash it out before work starts, so yeah, it was really nice of him to do that. Now I'm just going to let you guys know, I have got my curtain open so the lighting is going to change on my face. And I have my window open so you might be able to hear wind and birds, but I was trying to film this before with the window shut and I was dying. I was sweating, it was really not attractive, so yeah, I have to, <laughs> to help you guys and not look at someone completely sweaty and like sparkling. Um, I have just opened my window because it was pretty unbearable. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and read the instructions and give this a go. Now I am doing this in my studio, so I'm not in a bathroom. Um, and hopefully I don't stain stuff and get this all over the carpet. <clears throat> we'll have to see how it goes. I'm just going to clear some space. Okay, so in front of me I have got the packaging. Which have I got everything out? I think I did. I don't tend to read these instructions because the instructions are pretty clear on the box. So um, it comes in a little spray bottle like this, which is kind of like their... Um, toner and then lightener and stuff all come in this kind of bottle as well um so yeah spray bottle i've got two of these in case i needed them i've got a hairbrush because i think i'll need to brush the product through and i've got the gloves that came with it i actually hate using these with some of the other products i don't use the gloves so i'm just going to see what color the product is and i may remove the gloves i don't know yet um so yeah, you can see my hair, um, I haven't toned it in a while actually, so it's usually it's a neutral blonde, but it's gone a little bit warmer, my hair throws a lot of warmth, so um, it's still blonde though, so it'll be interesting to see what it does in this shade of blonde, because this is kind of like a dark, not a dark blonde, but it's a, I don't know, I don't know, like honey blonde, so maybe not as good a results as someone would get if they had like ashy or light blonde. Um, yeah, the instructions are put on gloves and protect your clothing. Now, I did grab a towel just so I could, you know, show you guys what I was doing um, in this room and not get on my clothes. I'm just going to raise my seat up so that my hair is actually in view. You might, I might cut off my head, but that's okay. <laughs> is that all good? I think that's all good. So my hair is quite long. It goes to kind of like over the sides of my boobs. <laughs> Um, so put on gloves and protect your clothing, so I'll do that in a second. Apply to towel dried or dry hair. Okay, so I'm going to do it on dry hair because in my experience with these products in the past, when I've done it on the wet hair, it's lasted longer than when I just did it on dry hair. So just want to see what the colour's like first before I really commit to it. So I'm just going to do it on dry hair, plus it's easier. Block excess product away with a paper towel. I'll just use my towel. <laughs> Um, comb through for even distribution and then leave in and blow dry for a smooth soft finish. So the good thing is I don't have to wash my hair when this is out, when this is done. So what I'm going to do is just brush all the knots out. I already gave it a bit of a brush before. <laughs> so now that's all brushed. I'm just going to pin um, this side away completely. I just kind of twist it and I got these from Look Sharp, which is just a wee budget store in New Zealand. Just clip that away like that. And then I'm just going to grab like, I don't know, maybe like an inch of my hair and just put the rest of that away. Now I am going to do my whole head. I'm not doing an ombre or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and just get a full blast. Um, so yeah, you can see I have got brown hair, so I'm just going to do it right the way to the top anyway and pull it through and we'll just have to see how it goes. So I'm going to shake it. It didn't actually say shake it, did it? No. Okay, well I'm shaking it. Maybe I will use my gloves to start with.
Okay, so maybe hold it back a little bit further. I can feel it spraying behind me though, so maybe I won't do that, but you guys can if you're giving this a go. So that's what one side looks like. I think I've got pretty good coverage of all the hair. It looks pretty dark, but um, I totally don't mind because it's going to wash out, right? Right, sports cloth. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just brushing it through. There is a couple of areas I could probably put a bit more colour in, but I'm not going to because my hair is so drenched. I'm just going to um, massage it through because there's a lot of product there that I can probably just make get the rest to cling to. So I've just curled it up on the top of my head and I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. Um, and then, yeah, try to stop getting this on my face. But I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side now. Okay, so I've got that all over my hair now. I've completely drenched it. I've probably got a blonde patch at the back, but I really don't care. Um, so it's I can see it lightening in some areas. So the next step that I need to follow is to... Um, just to leave in and blow dry for a smooth soft finish. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry and I'm also going to go fix up my makeup because I've got little purple patches everywhere. So go ahead and just tidy myself up, get it blow dry, get it styled and I'll come back and show you guys what the final result is when you absolutely drench your hair in that product. <laughs> okay guys, this is all done and this is as good as it's going to get. I was pretty much blow drying for maybe like 20 minutes and my hair still feels a little bit damp like and I was like full blast on hot as well now I absolutely love this color it is nothing like the box <laughs> but I do love the color that it came out in um, now I absolutely drenched my hair as you know now there's gonna be some brown coming through that won't like the color won't go on to brown as you guys know I said it at the beginning um, so I really like like the ombre <laughs> that I've got going on here and I love 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 this color but my hair feels disgusting I just want this out and I'm really gutted because I was hoping to keep it in overnight and to do some cool tutorials maybe this makeup look um, and yeah I just wanted it in for a couple of days and just not wash my hair but I can't touch my I don't know if you can see probably can't. Can you see the comparison of my hands? Like this has got purple all over it and I washed my hands and it's just from touching my hair like it's not even because it's got the wet product on it it's just from me doing this because the product is not drying properly in my hair. My hair feels disgusting like it feels like I've got so much product in it like look at all this. Um, I definitely think you could do this for like a one day wear but I would not go to bed like this because it would just Stain like your pillowcase and like everything, your clothes. Um, I would probably wear a beanie if it was a dark grey, but I would not wear like a white cap or anything quite light because I think it's just going to rub off. Um, I was hoping by sitting here for a bit and letting it dry that it would dry and this feeling would go away, but it hasn't. It just feels really gross. So I'm, I'm going to have to wash this out of my hair. Um, and I'm really gutted because I really do like this. Yeah, what can you do? Um, yes, yeah, so I think for single time wear, like it'll be fine. You just need to style it, just maybe hairspray it, and just try counteract this gross feeling. It, um, it just feels like you've let shampoo or conditioner dry in your hair. You know that feeling? That's kind of what this feels like. The other thing is, I haven't even straightened my hair, so I managed to put all that product in, and my hair still stayed straight. Now I've got curly hair, so it's obviously weighing it down, and <laughs> it's not just being its own shape and I just I don't know I really am gutted though because I really like this color <laughs> yeah um I would say get it for one wear I would not say you'd want to keep it in all the time now I did drench my hair like that could totally be the reason doing a light spray might work but considering I drenched it and it's not even that dark and there's still areas that are missing like color and yeah I thought I did a pretty good job but apparently not so yeah, I don't know. Maybe if you've got lighter hair, you can put less product in and it'll dry nicer. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I am loving the color, not liking the feel of my hair. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to take a whole bunch of pictures now and then just wash it out. So, anyway, if you've got questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.